Hi everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we're going to show you how to connect um, a RICO MP201, right? RICO MP201. We're going to use Windows 10 on that machine. So the printer, what you have to do first, you can go. Oh, something is coming. You can show that side here. Okay. The printer, what you do first, you get your printer in. Yes. You get it, you give it power, right? This is the power. So we're gonna find where we put this, right? So we I think something happened in the cameras or whatever. Okay, so okay, you see this is the power, right? So what do we do? We had a code here, so we're gonna follow this code. We pick it up from, from the wall. Okay, so we take this out from the wall. We're gonna replace it with this. Okay. Once you replace it, then you're gonna see your printer is on now. It's coming on. You can see, right? That's it. So another thing you have to do, you have to run a cable from the computer to to your printer. You can see. This is your cable it's called a printer cable you're gonna connect it to your printer so i'm gonna change the printer here and uh, we look for a place to put if you're using network cable also it's it's easier but also you can use this once you put it in here okay you look the way it is okay once you put it in here sometimes on the pc it can flag on the computer but not yet it hasn't flagged so this side that's the only thing we need okay since that's the only thing we need put our machine here it's open whatever there was something is giving us trouble here okay okay that's not a problem okay it complains about this door so we can close that door it's fine okay right now we're gonna go to the pc so if we on the PC now, um, you can come close to the PC, the camera. Okay. So it hasn't shown anything. Maybe the drivers are there. Sometimes it uh, does download itself. The drivers download it by itself. So let's see. So if I do this, let me try to print. But if, if you're using old Windows, could be a challenge for you okay let me see you can see the the machines which are there um yeah Raiko 171 is there but this is a is is it's a 201 let's see if that's gonna work sometimes they can use the same windows it's a printer connecting okay if i print let's see if it's gonna print Yes, it did print. It's gonna print. I feel like no, it hasn't printed, but it might print. Let's wait. If it doesn't, oh yeah, it's gonna print. Good enough. You can see once you see this, it has printed right, hundred percent, guys. So that's it. So that's the only thing you need to do if you're using Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 11. So. The software installs by itself but also if you want to use maybe linux ubuntu and other operating systems <clears throat> on linux when you on online what you do you can just plug or and play but also you might have have a situation whereby you don't have this cable so what you do you can use what they call the network cable so network cables uh, then you have to set the ip and all that uh, let me get you so our router is here so you can connect direct to you can connect your router your your printer direct to the to the router what you do you run a cable from here then you put it here see here so after putting it there then you can go to your system here then you press in and go to settings and do all that what you want to do so i think i have a video on that 
If I don't forget, I might put it in the description whereby you can connect your machine using what? Um, using a cable. Simple, simple like that. But anyway, that's it. We did print out one blank page. And you, so, can you print print what you wanted to print first? You see, please. She's gonna print what she wanted to print. Okay, she's gonna print that. The one no, no select select the machine here at the app select the the printer that was kind of the order select mp171 down 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 up up right on no up down one down one down yes that one okay okay she selected then say print After that, you're gonna see a blinking. Yes, the blink came out. Wow. You can see the printing is 100% fine. So, Rikos are good machines. They only give issues where you have to change the developer, the whatever, whatever, you know, all that. But. <clears throat> It's easy to set up, but this is specifically a network printer, so they work so well with the network. I can only connect here on the network and I print everywhere I can. Even those guys upstairs, they can print from their rooms if I set up this. Yeah, well, guys, there's a printer also I did, uh, a video I did before. It was about this printer, Canon, just to how to replace the toners and stuff. I can give you a bonus thing here. This is the way how to change the toner for this machine. You flip here, you press here, and you press this, right? Then you take out, this is the toner. I take out the toner, you say, wow, someone made it to be like spills. They took out the bottle, so, okay. Uh, you put it in like that, press it, done. Then you find so after you close, then you find so that's the way you change your toner. Putting in papers, you just press here, you press down, you put in the papers. Sometimes they could be a paper jam. Some most paper jams they come from this side. You just open the door like this, then you check if there's no paper jam. If there's a paper jam, then you pull it out. You're good to go. Yeah, well guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.